help you. I'm an action hero. It's what I do. Someone's luring the world's most beautiful women to various points around the equator. We have to locate them. Well, you've come to the right place, sister. Cut, cut, cut! I'm sorry, it just slipped again. Everybody take five. You know what, Rob? I got it. When I agreed to do this swimsuit show, they said I was going to be working with an action star, and uh, no offense, but I don't think this is going to work. But I am an action star, and I can prove it. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. Here is my name. Where? Right here, this, in the registry of uh, action heroes. There's my name, right above the guy who played uh, Batman. Adam West? Yeah. Adam, uh, you know, West. My favorite James Bond of all time, Lazenby. George Lazenby. Sure, I know it looks cool being an action hero, but it's a lot more dangerous than it looks. I know, I know, stunt doubles, you say. <laughs> well, not for me. I do all the tough stunts myself. Ow! 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 Is it too much to ask to remove the dangerous seashells from the beach? Someone could get seriously hurt. You ever wonder what a swimsuit model does at night? I do, 24 hours a day. So let's check out Ava Herzegova under the cover of darkness. You're less unveiled because it's dark. You're kind of more free, more more creative in a way. I mean, it's a completely different feeling, especially with the water and the breeze and the palm trees. It's kind of floating, you know? It's very sensual and very erotic. It's beautiful. My entire concept is to shoot her at night using the blues of the water to highlight her body, to make her totally sensual, as sensual as I can. And I felt that with Eva, it was it was better to do it at night because it just breaks it from the traditional beautiful girl on the beach in the daytime. Cover the light. I think it's all about the expression. It's, I mean, the body shapes definitely helps, and um, but it's it's all about you know the way you look into the camera with the eyes and, and about the expression and. You can be sitting like this with like boring look, you know. It's it, I don't know. It's just it's it, that's what gives it the attitude and the whole um, feeling. I think the greatest power of Eva is when you stand and look her in the eye, and she gives her almost flirtatious smile. It melts you. It's sensuality, it's erotic, but it's, it's got the kind of freshness that's so appealing. She's not just your basic blonde beauty. She's a sophisticated beauty. So my true aim, personally, is to make images of Eva that not only men care to look at, but also women. So find a balance where it's still beautiful, it, where it's sexy, but it's got some sophistication as well. Russell is always up for a challenge, and the big draw to him is he never wants to do the same thing twice, which 
represents a big challenge, but at the same time as an editor is a great thing because it's always giving me something new to work with. On the shoots, you usually the princess, you know, it's like everybody's around you because you're the only girl, and it's cool, I don't mind. <laughs> Sometimes it gets a little crazy about the fans and about people coming and trying to get autographs, but I always take it with a big smile because it's, it's a great reward. I love the rain. I mean, it's a great feeling. I don't think it's a good idea to stand in the water, though, when it rains and it's thundering and lightning. Nice with the eyes closed. I was more worried about Russell and the assistants because it is electricity that they're holding. The difficulties of working on a beach with electrical equipment is a heck of a lot to think about. It's a heck of a lot that goes wrong. We have a lot of equipment, but the result's worth it. I am so lucky. I have such a great family that I treasure so much. I mean, they mean so much to me. And um, to me, that's what's important, you know, family and friends. And um, if you're successful, it's great. But, you know, it's not about getting an attitude because of it. There's so many other qualities, you know, that you should appreciate in life. Thanks, guys. Okay, just a couple more. Oh, yes. Oh, man. These are going to be hot. Very hot. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very hot. I'm digging it. This is going to be great. Rob, can I stop now? I've shot seven rolls of you already. Only seven? But my string was out. Look. Th those rolls are useless. You have to admit, Rebecca and I make one sexy couple. Hey, maybe these will get into the magazine. After all, Sports Illustrated is featuring the hottest couples in sports this year, as seen through the lens of another guy who likes to shoot people, the legendary Scavulo. It was such a great pleasure working with Mr. Scavulo. I mean, it's a great thrill for us. Yeah, there was some, some anxiety, but as soon as you walk in the door, he's there to greet you, and he made you so relaxed as soon as you walked in. I like people. So being in love and being curious about people, uh, I like to photograph. The idea is that these husbands and wives are just hot commodities, and the husbands are really a departure point to show these incredible women. What do I think is sexy? Definitely, definitely my husband Wayne and athletes. When you first pick up a sport, swimming suit, Sports Illustrated, what do you think and what do you want to see? Oh, I want to read the stories. <laughs> and I want to look at the girls. <laughs> oh. 
I think, you know, if you're going to go to an island, you want the myth that there's a girl waiting on a desert island for you. You know, the idea is that there's this babe on a beach, and you swam up, and there she was. It was just about sand and sky and water, and that's hard because there's nothing else to bounce off of in the pictures except for these girls. We decided to come to the Maldives because we decided to do the issue based around the equator. And when you look for places around the equator, there are not that many places that have land. And it's sensational. It looks different even though you're on a strip of sand. The light completely changes. It's really brilliant blue. It's lavender. It's all these different colors all the time. I think it is girl directed. It's not photographer directed, I don't think. Basically, the girl's more important than the person who takes the pictures. So what I'm supposed to do is just kind of be a medium. To, uh, something, someone just to let it happen. Barry works more with her emotions than she does with her body. She brings complexities from a fashion world. And Heidi brings an enthusiasm and fresh energy. Completely comfortable with her body. I'm very critical of myself when I look at the pictures afterwards. So it's really, you know, I mean, I'm always like, oh, I wish they would have took me a little bit from that side. But I like me smiling usually. But this time I was really happy because they wanted me really sexy. Sexy for me is a curvy woman who doesn't have to be skinny, which I hate anyway. I'm happy that it's like changing slowly a little bit now to get more to the boobs and to the hips again. stay real you know I want to look real like touchable in the photographs <laughs> but then again not because I know it's very cool and it's all constructed and like your expression is matching the light and the clothes and I like as you know real just that like I'm giving a lot you know I've seen it I've seen it where I'm not and where I am it's a big difference there it's gorgeous fabulous last roll on the color camera I've never done this with Illustrator or any lingerie, any of that. I've just done a lot of fashion shows. It's just mainly about your body, which is easy to work with, you know? Instead of worrying about these clothes on you and how they look and, you know, how they're hanging. Thank you, everybody, for the day. That was great. Thank that was you. Worth it. Really worth it. Thank you. The girl gets to express herself in the context of what she knows that guys who read Sports Illustrated want to see in a girl. So the girls act parts. It's like a role mm -hmm. almost. It's like they know that they're mm -hmm. going to try to be the girl of some guy's dreams. That's very good. It's fine. That's nice. Look at me now. There. See what we have to do to make that picture look good? <laughs> You can't do it forever anyway, you know, we all have to really be honest. A couple of years, the whole thing is over and there's someone else who is on your spot, which is fine, you know, things have to change, life goes on, you do something else. You know, you do it for a while and you have fun with it. You see everything, you travel the world and you make money and then you stop. 
Perfect. To me, it was really about these girls and their bodies. It was about making them look their best, and it was that simple and that difficult. It was about doing very classic pictures of incredible looking women and on an incredible beach. Thank you. Yay. Nice job, Heidi. I just love beating these athletes. I've seen them on television, and I've never been to a game and seen them in person. But it's fun to meet them and meet their other halves. I mean, that's what's fun about my business. You get to know a lot of different kinds of people. I always like uh, looking at her eyes and her smile. You know, a nice body is great and all that, but I think, you know, sometimes you have to look beyond that. I think that's, I'm always been attracted to that. And that's obviously one thing I first noticed about her. That's cute. He's been known for his personality. I mean, that's the first thing that caught my eye besides his eyes and his smile, his personality, and that's what hooked me. You have a big smile. You know, I think hopefully people will say, wow, what a nice looking couple. So, boy, it's, uh, you know, it's pretty neat that they're involving actually, you know, sports figures and, you know, into the issue also. That's terrific. That's the picture. Bravo. There we go. There are four things all action heroes have in common. A powerful physique, incredible charisma, an almost total absence of acting ability, and a cause worth fighting for. For Rambo, it was the simple pursuit of the freedom guaranteed by our forefathers to maim and kill indiscriminately. For Schwarzenegger, the right to come to this country and earn billions of dollars and snag a Kennedy. And for me, well, it's a great way to impress chicks, like Rebecca. In fact, I impressed Rebecca all the way to Africa, where she and Leticia got to mingle with Maasai warriors and prowl the savanna with fierce jungle beasts. Well, don't worry, it's not as dangerous as it sounds. Are, are you all right? I'm sorry. I, I'm coming. Just give me a minute. Never really been in in Africa like like with the lion and when I walk the night, it's some girls come with me and I imagine maybe a lion or something will coming because it's completely free. Tilt back. Gorgeous. I don't want to lose too much of the body, yeah. Hold it. Wow, she's good, she's good. All right, keep it. Could I see the Polaroid? Don't move, don't move, don't move. I do one more and I'm going to have breakfast. All right, we have it. My brain is having trouble registering that all this is real. Like, I've seen, you know, so many, you know, Discovery Channel and pictures in the zoo, whatever. It's like, I can't believe I'm seeing this in real life. It's, it's strange to, you know, come around the bend and see a giraffe right in front of you. It's like very intense. I love it. Great. That's great. That's far, man. I really prefer working on location, especially in, in a, you know, something like this. I mean, it's like so breathtakingly beautiful. It's, 
and it's of course it's it, you know it gets under your skin. See, oh, that's that. Yeah, let's see, it. let's see it. Yeah, keep it there. The same attitude. That's what you want the contest here, girl. This is great. Keep the face. Yeah. I just hope that I'm always steady enough holding this camera. This is pretty light. Again, I like this one, like that dark. Okay, we got it. Here you have to work with more shapes because the light doesn't help you to sculpt, you know, sculpt the body. It's flat and so you, the girl has to work harder to move her body to it. <laughs> Right. She will try and imitate this. These are all young boys, you know. Are they? Yeah. These are just the upcoming. Right. 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 Is she ready? Okay. Okay, all right, give me a roll. Um, you have to sort of dance along, yeah. Right, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, hands up. Hold on. Yeah. As we can see, man, it's um, pretty difficult, you know, because we have a communication problem. The light is perfect. The light is perfect. Jump! We gotta wait and see. <laughs> It's just a hit, hit and miss sort of thing. Yeah, hold it there. That's a good position, okay? I think it's exciting. I, I'm, I'm sure I'm getting something. I was trying to choose to be with them, to imagine I'm from them, from the village. But I tried to forget everybody. That's the point. Like cameras, and you can really can be like them. They're so special. It's like. It's like magic for me, you know, it's like, it's like a dream and I'm thinking, I hope so, I never will forget because it's like a song, you know, you're listening and it makes you boom, 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 boom. The best thing about my job is the traveling. I mean, you know, where else would I get the opportunity to see something like this? Nobody I know my age has been on a safari like this. It's just so spectacular.
Is it here okay for you guys? Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Cool. Very good, Rebecca. Beautiful. Thank you. All right. I think we're all more relaxed now and we had lunch and, you know, we chilled out and now, you know, we come back and see it a different way. And they calm down, you know, these guys have, you know, they're bored, you know. There's less of them around, so it's much easier to control, you know. Nude girls, I mean, you know. <laughs> they've they've seen, seen it. it. They've seen jaded, it. man. <laughs> Good. Make it very chat. Yeah. Okay. But. There's a vibe. You vibe each other out when you're working, and it's not like a sexual thing. It's just you, you know, there's an exchange of energy, and, you know, if, if I'm not getting any energy from the photographer, he's not going to get anything back from me. I totally believe in chemistry. Okay. Yeah. Good. It was really intense. I don't think these people have ever seen anything like this before in their lives. It's sort of a Sports Illustrated meets National Geographic. <laughs> You have to bring it so I can see that it's a brush, because otherwise... That's cool, like yeah. that. There, that's good, that's good. Yeah, yeah. When you see the picture, you know it. Everything just comes together, and that's your perfect run. Do you like it? <laughs> Here. We think it's so dumb that it works. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine to be 19 and can travel like that and I can say to my little sister um, I've been there and there and there and I feel full inside. I was in school but it's not the same. The school of life, it's amazing. comfortable with myself so I like to do bikinis I think it's very sexy and uh, it's stupid to, to don't be comfortable with uh, the body you have anyway you have it so what can you do you born like that so yeah there like that great so you want to do one more yeah okay. hey let's do that red one when Elaine told me about Africa it it really excited me in a way that you know being from Jamaica, it's, you know, I feel like association with Afro-Chinese type of background and I, nice. I like the rawness of the country. Just the whole atmosphere of Africa, it's very exotic. It has this mystique quality to it, which I love. This is rocking now, this is hot. Everywhere you look, it's just a beautiful picture. It's, it's amazing. To see the girls out in the bush, in the savanna, you know, which is a classic Africa, you know, that everyone has seen. And then with the Maasai, where the dynamic is so intense. It's been incredible. And welcome to the Action Heroes Club, the exclusive retreat for action heroes like myself. 
Why don't we gather to swap war stories, compare scar tissue, and make fun of Steven Seagal? We got a great nickname for him. Fatty Seagull. <laughs> and in general, we just come here to hang out, get away from the riffraff. You know what I'm talking about? I'm sorry, monsieur. I have to ask you to leave. This club is for members only. What are you talking about? I'm an action hero. I'm a big movie star. Very amusing, sir. Come on. Let's wait, go. I got references. Uh, Stallone, Van Damme, Adam West. Wait, wait, not him. He's still mad at me for passing him on the list. Ow! That hurts! I did 50 years of photography. Well, I always did portraits. I did portraits of my sister when I was a kid. So it's been, you know, fashion and portraits all along. This is actually her line of business, so. I've, I've just been a counterweight today. I just stood there and let her, like, hang on. <laughs> just kind of stand in one place and don't make too many mistakes and let her do all the work. To be on set at Scabula shooting is a chance to look perfect. You know, so that's very exciting. You know you're not going to look bad. Daryl is sexy to me, not only because he's handsome and sweet, but he's genuine, he has a lot of integrity, and he's a man of his word to his friends, his family, even his little dog. <laughs> I think it's going to be something that, that a lot of people are going to enjoy, taking athletes and their wives and, and showing the women behind the men who are out on the field. Don't let me fall! <laughs> Hong Kong, where East meets West. Hong Kong, where the action hero genre was reinvented. Hong Kong, home of traditional mariachi music. Hong Kong, a place where I am no longer allowed to return. You know, you try to smuggle one panda bear and he dies and suddenly that makes me a bad person. But what's the difference? Hong Kong, Mexico, I mean, they're both exotic locations. Just like the Galapagos Islands, where we'll see the giant land tortoise and supermodel Nikki Taylor. Wow, I can't wait to see that. A giant land tortoise. Fantasy sea goddess. Well, I love sexy women. I think there's nothing sexier than a confident woman. And if Nikki can go out there in that thong and be confident, man, she rocks, you know. <laughs> for other women. I mean, we know the guys all think it's sexy. Guys think everything is sexy. <laughs> but if a woman thinks you look hot, you know you really look hot. That is beautiful. <laughs> Kim is, you know, really, really, you know, into beauty. She wants the girls to look beautiful and that different. They want, she wants them to look, you know, like themselves. She's so ugly. <laughs> She's so ugly. Okay. <laughs> it's paparazzi disguised as seal. I definitely like the spontaneity of shooting on location and the fact that anything can happen. Spontaneity is really sexy when women are confident and they're at ease with themselves and it's all about going with the flow and enjoying where you are when you're there instead of complaining about the fact that you might be a little seasick. You just have to say, hey, you know, I'm in the Galapagos. It doesn't get better than that.
I chose the Galapagos because I wanted places that were really exotic and interesting and off the beaten track, but on the equator. It's so incredible because people tell you about it before you come and you don't quite believe it, but when you're here, it's really that way. The animals are so tame and so beautiful and the terrain is very graphic. Meyer's work is very graphic. <laughs> it's all about graphic. <laughs> you can laugh as much as you want, but don't let us see that nipple. If I like who I'm shooting, I always find it in them. They always become the most perfect, beautiful thing I've ever seen. I think I'm gonna probably retire here in about five years. I guess I don't really like have that body that I did when I was 18 and 17. After having kids, you know, your hips grow and you know, I still have a bit of poochy tummy, but like I said, how many more covers can I actually do? Come on, you know, it's time to move on here. This year, it's really about memorable pictures, which pick up the vibe of the places where we are, as well as the personalities of these incredible women. I know what you're thinking. Have I seen six supermodels or only five? Well, to tell you the truth, in all this excitement, I've kind of lost track myself. I think there was four. Well, number two was hot, huh? Number one was good, but number three, oh my god, I mean, just the thought of looking at there. Every kind of a photograph you do is different. If you're shooting a kid, or if you're shooting couples, or if you're shooting celebrities. And that's why you're able to do it year after year, day after day, because it's always different. We're both very athletic, and he's trying to show the uh, body a lot, which is uh, something I think we take a lot of pride in. I think what's sexy about a woman is the intelligence. You know, a sense of humor, because I'm always a jokester. I'm always clowning around. You really see that in those bathing suits. I think people like to see both sides, you know, husband and wife together. And yeah, yeah so I would have never asked me to be in it unless my wife was in it. There's tons of people out there that I haven't photographed. There's 10 new people every day that I'd like to photograph. <laughs> OK, that's great. We got that. Action heroes, swimsuit models. We're a lot alike. We get all the glamour, but there are a lot of people working behind the scenes that make us look good. I like to call them the little people. Take the selfless men and women of the prop department, for example. See this thing here? 
This is what we in the action hero business like to call a breakaway chair. Go ahead, Rebecca. Hit me over the head with it. No, I, I, don't, I don't think so. No, it's perfectly safe. Come on, I insist. Go ahead. Let me have it. Hard as you can. Don't be afraid. Oh! Ah! Here's the breakaway chair you were waiting for. <gasps> my God, Rob, are you all right? I think it's my spine. Okay, don't move. I can introduce the next segment. No, I think I can still do it. I, I'm pretty sure I can. Ow! I said oh, I'll do it! Okay. She's okay. the one you've been waiting for. Last year's swimsuit cover story, Tyra Banks. Last year's cover was actually amazing because it wasn't a dream of mine because I didn't think it was possible. I usually dream for things that I think are, you know, that I can achieve. I try to be as close to who I am. Like a lot of, a lot of people like say, this is my public image and this is my private image. The only thing different about my public and private image is the physical. Like, I don't look so made up and stuff all the time. In fact, in the airport, they're like, ooh, she looks just like Tyra Banks, but she ain't as pretty as her. Hey, that's nice. Love that. I don't mind that. Can you make that work? When I first started modeling, my mom told me, don't believe the hype and that this is temporary. And the fashion industry is so fickle. Like, they'll be over me in a couple of years, but I'll be over them and I will have moved on. You know, people say, oh, Tara, you're this and you're that, your magazine covers sell this much. Yeah, but they're not gonna be selling that much forever. And I know that, and that's what keeps me right there. I see this as just like a nine to five, going to work. It's not fun, it is a job, it is a business. I don't get up and go, wee, I'm gonna model today. It's just my job. I guess she's a national product by now. So Tyra brings about a million strengths. She brings, she brings Tyra with her. Tyra. And everyone already knows who, who she is. And the more she becomes conscious of that, the more she's actually making variations on the theme of the Tyra woman. I enjoy doing TV, I enjoy doing film. I take it at a very slow pace. You know, a lot of models feel like, oh, I have to show that I can act. I have to take every little single thing. But I look at it as my modeling career allows me to just be relaxed and comfortable and not a starving actress. Good boy, huh? Yeah. I am. Uh, uh. I think I'm a very strong woman, I'm very opinionated. Like a guy will have a big crush on me or something and call me and he'll never call me back because I'm so opinionated. But I am not gonna be weak, so I'm still waiting for that strong man that can have this strong, talking, opinionated woman. You know what, this leg nice. I'm not very happy with just posing. I feel like I have to do something else, I have to give back. It's very important giving back to me, especially as an African-American woman and being so lucky and seeing so many of my kind struggling so much and what I've gone through and still continue to go through as a black model, I still feel it's so important to give, give, give. For an action hero, you're pretty fragile. I, I can't feel my legs. Ah! Oh. 